welcome to the next lecture of the html programming in this lecture we will talk about uh, the html introduction so let's see uh, what we mean by the html html as we all know the full form of the html it is the hypertext markup language and it is used to design web pages or websites obviously the websites are the collection of web pages and with the help of html we can create each web page combinedly these web pages will give you a website so html is used to create web pages it is a dominant and you can say the only language to create the web pages the presentation of the web pages now it was developed by tim berners lee around 1990 at sun library and it is a presentation language it's not like the other languages uh, other programming languages like c c++ or java which have the capability of performing some processing and computation but html cannot perform any computation it is only a language that gives the presentation to the web pages so it can be used to presentation to provide the presentation to the web pages to design the web pages it's a front end language it can create only static pages now let me talk about uh, there are two types of the pages one is the static pages and other are dynamic pages what are the static pages <coughs> which gives uh, some information to the user only and user cannot interact with those web pages so these are static pages whenever you go you read something and you just as a user get something from the web page but you cannot interact to the web page so these are the static web pages on the other hand the dynamic web pages where user interacts with the web page let's say you sign up uh, you register on some website you log in in some website so that means you are interacting with that particular web page such web pages are called dynamic web pages but html can only provide the presentation to the dynamic web pages but it cannot make web pages dynamic so it is used to create the static pages and we can say it is used to provide presentation to the dynamic pages we have already seen that there is a term hypertext markup language so what we mean by hypertext hypertext basically refers to the way web pages are linked together or web objects are linked together have you ever seen a hyperlink whenever in a web page we found a hyperlink we click on that hyperlink and we go to some other web page so that means more than one web pages are linked together more than web objects are linked together with the help of that links so that text which gives us the links either it can be an internal link or it can be an external link such links are termed as hyperlinks and a web page that consists of such arrangement is a uh, having the hypertext so the web page content is known as the hypertext and we mark up that hypertext what do we mean by the mark up have you ever used any text editor like ms word in which we need to specify some text uh, which we want to make bold so what we used to do we select that text and then make it bold that means we give a starting marking and we give an end mark so we tell that particular editor that from this starting position to this end position we need to make it bold similarly in the html page if you want to make some special effect to some text we need to mark the starting and ending of that particular text so this is done with the help of tags so that is why it is called as mark up language wherever we mark html elements with the help of the tags so that is why it is known as hypertext markup language because the text is hypertext which will give us uh, the links on to the pages on the websites and we mark up we use tags to mark up our hypertext for the presentation that we provide some starting point and end point Uh, for that particular special presentation so this is the introduction about the html now let's talk about what are the features of html why html is so popular and everybody is learning the html and most of the people know html also why uh, everybody learns html that is just because its features one 
It is easy to learn and use. HTML is one of the easiest language that you can learn and you can design your web pages. So it is easy and uh, learn to use. It's platform independent. That means in on any system, on any platform, and any processor, on any operating system, you can create, you can design a web page, and it will execute on any other system or any other platform. So it is platform independent. You can add images, text, audio, video, and other objects into your web page uh, like GIS. You can add maps. You can add other objects. You can uh, use a PDF. You can have a audio, video, and all the objects you can add into your web pages. And it's a markup language. We have already discussed that uh, the text we can mark up and we can specify a special presentation to that marked text. Next, it is interpreted language. You must have heard about translators. All the languages use translators because we write the code in English language and that has to be converted to the machine language so that machine can understand. So the HTML uses interpreter. So that is why it is known as interpreted language where line by line interpretation is done. Line by line translation is done of the code. Next is, it is a non-case sensitive language. Yes, that means if you write a small a or if you write a capital A, it doesn't matter. Both are same here in the HTML. Unlike the other languages you have in the C, you have in Java language, these are case sensitive language, especially keywords. But this HTML is a non-case sensitive language. That means you don't have to bother about caps and small letters. So this is a non-case sensitive language. So now these, this is all about the introduction and the features of the HTML. Let's talk about the requirements. If you want to make a web page, if you want to develop an HTML document, what are the software requirements? We don't need much. We need only two things. One, a text editor where we can write our source code and we need a browser where we can display our web page where we can view our web page this text editor can be anything you can use a notepad wordpad sublime text uh, visual studio editor or any other ide you can use uh, so you can use any text editor and you can use any of the browsers let's say chrome edge firefox mozilla opera you can use any one of these browsers so it's very simple the software requirement is not much very high we, we just need an editor and a browser to execute our first web page. So in the next lecture, we will learn the structure of an HTML document and we will run our first HTML document. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much.